normally I would hold these out in front of the camera and get you a video but I can't do it with this one <laughs> it's just a bit too big I had to set it on my my bucket seat here and take you a video this way I know this probably isn't going to show it as good but it's uh, the best I can do and unfortunately the clouds came out so I apologize if the video is just a little bit dark but as you can see this a giant cluster has got some just awesome optical clear points on it and I mean this thing's giant uh, you can see here this is a five gallon bucket it's sitting on top of I'll give you a little bit of idea of what size this thing is I mean it's huge um, it's not a piece of junk but it's not a museum quality cluster either <laughs> uh, it does have some missing points on it and some areas of damage and then right here in the back you've got this ugly piece of sandstone sticking up on it but it is a very nice cluster I wouldn't be surprised to see one of these, you know, in a retail setting going for a couple thousand bucks. Let's see if I can give you a little bit of an idea how the shine is on this one. It's hard to show it when I can't manipulate it the right way like I usually do when I'm holding on to them. It does have a little bit of sandstone base on it, but that's not too thick. It's still a pretty a fairly thin cluster. It's not a glass back, but it's not got a huge piece of uh, matrix on it. Let me flip it around here and get you a shot from the other side. Um, here's the one little section I was talking about where it's got some missing points. Uh, right here, you got a couple of points missing off of it, which you know just about any big cluster that's this large is going to have some missing points on it it's in, pretty much inevitable I mean it's not that easy to get something this size out of hard packed clay without knocking off a couple little points but I hope this video gives you a better idea of what this one looks like than the pictures do